Hello, my name is Chloe, welcome to my channel and welcome to the next weekly reading vlog. So excuse the uh, the look right now, I have just woken up on Monday morning, um, but this week is the start of Vampire Diaries Readathon round two for 2024. That starts on Wednesday because Wednesday is the 1st of May, but I am fully aware that I will not get a whole book read in the next two days. So I'm not gonna set myself a further TBR. Make sure you do go and check out my TBR for May um, because it's very detailed on why I'm reading every book, but I have a 15 book TBR, so I don't think I'm gonna deviate from that a lot. I think I'm gonna um, pretty much stick within those books. The only change is going to be if I pick up any audiobooks while I work. Um, I have been on a fascination of watching TV while I work and not listening to audiobooks, so I might not be going for any more. But I asked my patrons what the first book I should read at the readathon is, and they said The Beast by Katie Robert. So I'm going to save this one for the Wednesday kickoff sprints and hopefully read the entire thing while live. This is um, very smutty, so that should be very interesting. And it is only 270 pages, so I think it's going to be a good one to read for the first prompt. However, I need something to do for the next two days and I can't have no book going on. So I'm thinking a good idea might be to get started on Queen of Shadows. Queen of Shadows is a 650 page book. Uh, it is the fourth book in the Throne of Glass series and I think it's gonna take me a little bit of concentration to get this read. So I think this is gonna be what I have going on at the moment. Even if I read 100 pages before Wednesday, just to like make a little bit of a dent in it because uh, yeah, it's a chunker. So I think that's going to be the plan. Thank you everybody who is participating in the readathon. I appreciate you a hell of a lot and I look forward to see what reading you get up to. But yeah, it's time to see what I can manage to do in 31 days when I've got a lot of stuff going on. But uh, let's try and smash it, shall we? So I finished my Monday at work and I just opened my front door and found this parcel. I know that it's from Oz because they sent me a message. So I'm just already overwhelmed at the gift, especially how heavy it is and the shape it is. I'm, uh, I'm excited. And yep, there we go. You guys will know exactly what it is as soon as you can see what I can see. Just getting my address out of the way. Any ideas? <laughs> I literally don't even know what to think. This is the entire Hunger Games box set by Suzanne Collins. Just, just wow, just wow. So we've got Hunger Games, Catching Fire, Mockingjay, and The Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes. The Hunger Games books are some of my um, favorite books, but I wanted to get matching editions to have them as part of my forever collection. Um, I did think that as soon as this book came out, they were gonna do new covers and stuff like that. So I held out, put this on my wish list to buy it myself someday, and Oz has gone and done it, which I'm blown away. It just says, congrats on the new job. This is so incredibly sweet. This is so sweet. I don't even know how to react. Thank you, Oz. Hello, hello. Um, I think I've opened this vlog. I really, I'm not sure. Um, it's been chaos. It is now Tuesday evening. I had no water for about 18 hours. I don't even know if I have water right now. It's all a big hoo-ha. Anyway, I um, just thought I would check outside my door. Genuinely don't even know what encouraged me to. I'm glad I did because I found this Amazon parcel. Um, on picking it up, I still don't know what it is. It's very squidgy. So I'm really, really not sure what I'm feeling here. I'm not even sure what's on my wish list that's squidgy. Ooh. Oh, amazing. We have a big bag of sweets. These are, um, it's just a one kilo pick and mix bag of sweets. We've got loads of fun stuff in there. Oh my God, I didn't know these were still on my wish list. Amazing. Who are these from? Laura. That's too kind of you. So this just says congratulations on your new job from Laura. Oh, you sweetheart. You really did not need to send these. Thank you so much. Evie is going to be on Chloe Reed's box. You're going to wave. Say hello. Hello, <laughs> hello. It is Friday. I have finished work and I have a few things to do tonight. Um, first of all, I finished The Beast on Wednesday. I read the whole book on the 1st of May because um, I wanted to finish at least one readathon prompt. And I'm sad to say I gave this one two stars. I really was not a fan 
at all. Not my cup of tea. So the Casey Roberts books deal with quite a lot of different romances. Um, this one did just feel kind of like a carbon copy of others. There was nothing apart from smut in this. Um, so it really didn't do anything for me. Um, I don't even know what to say about it. I just really didn't like it. <laughs> just, just gave me the ick of all Casey Roberts books. I think it's my least favourite so far. So on that note, well not on that note, on a completely different note, I'm losing the plot. Um, I was just filming my wrap up and book haul today. So then the book haul has gone towards the shelves and I actually have like a secret stack of books forming now because these shelves are pretty much full. So I need to do it. I'm gonna be brutal. I'm gonna look through the shelves and anything I'm not excited to read has gotta go. It's gotta go. This happens every now and again. I just have like a brutal moment of unhaul the books. Um, and that moment is now. So let's see what I can pull off. It is a significant amount of time later and I have reorganized like my whole bookshelves. <laughs> really, I've just reshuffled, but this lighting is not loving life. Anyway, I have now decided on my holiday TBR for when I go to America, which is fun. And I'm unhauling one, two, three, four, five, six, seven books. Seven books definitely isn't bad, seeing as I wasn't gonna be unhauling any today. So let's see what we've got. I think there's gonna be two very like honest moments in here. The first one I'm getting rid of is Mindhunter by um, John Douglas John Douglas and Mark Olshaker. This was a Chloe's Crime Scene Corner book. And I said I wanted to reread it at some point, but the first time I read it, I listened to the audiobook. So I don't need a physical copy. I then have two books that came in a box of stories that are probably cute, but I just have no desire to read them over my other books. And that is A Wildflower Summer by Carolyn Flynn and Beth on the Beach by Caitlin Duncan. Both of these just, I'm sure they're fine, but not really feeling it. Um, then we have books two and three in the To All The Boys I Love Before series. So P.S. I Still Love You and Always and Forever, Lara Jean. I don't really have an emotional attachment towards these books anymore. And I was considering unhauling them a while ago. I've kept number one for nostalgia, but two and three, I don't need them. I don't need them. Uh, next up, we have Show Us Who You Are by Al McNichol. So I got this book because I read A Kind of Spark and I cried my eyes out. I loved it. But I kind of just think there's no reason for me to... I picked this book up because of the author um, and I loved A Kind of Spark so much. Like it meant so much to me. But I really don't need to read another of their books. So that can go. And then this one feels rude, but... <sighs> what am I going to do? It's This Is How You Fall In Love by Anika Hussein. So I signed up for a paid read along of this book and I didn't get on to the paid read along but I got sent the book anyway which I'm sorry I've, I've held on to this book for so long I've put it on TBRs um in the way to like motivate myself to read it but I'm just not as interested like over the other books on my shelves about this book so um let's go in. So that's my little unhaul um sneak preview to my tbr for um america because basically i want to take stuff that i don't mind if i unhaul after so i'm taking two books that i've already brought back from america and i'm going to be taking them back there to read them and that is his kind of perfection and a pirate's love they're both like one dollar romances i bought and i feel like they're going to be good like travel books i don't know like i was going to be unhauling them when i read them anyway so i may as well read them like on the plane or around the pool or something that's what i've done maybe i should get back to actually what i was planning on doing this evening now okay hello it is saturday morning i have not long woken up and i've just finished glint by raven kennedy so this was my enzo prompt to read a second chance author because i read guild and wasn't that impressed but had the rest of the series so three stars for this one it's kind of the same review as i had for guild um these books feel objectively not good but i eat them up like i can't stop reading and i read all of this probably in like three sessions really I read like 300 pages of it last night so overall <laughs> it is the stupidest king midas inspired fae story it's really, in my mind, not that good. But <laughs> I am eating it up. Saying that, I have the next one, Gleam. Yeah, Gleam, left on my shelves. I think I'm going to hold on to Glint and um, Guild for now. But I'm thinking it's probably going to be an unhaul of the three books. It is a longer series. I think there's five. I'm going to give it a go up till number three. But I just don't feel like these are books I need to keep forever. They're not doing anything for me it's not like i'm trying to find a book i can grab 
Okay, these are wedged in, I've reorganised. It's not like the Akatar series where everything kind of really feels really like deep and special. I don't know. Um, this does not feel deep and special. This just feels like trashy fantasy. But I had a fun time with it. So now I need to get ready. It is Dad's birthday weekend. So we are going to Stratford today. I will make sure I take you with. Um, but yeah, that's what's going on. Need to get dressed and ready and head out. Oh, and I need to log my prompts for the readathon. If you are taking part in the readathon, please do log your points as you go. Otherwise, it's a massive admin task at the end, and I don't really fancy doing that. I plead with you if you've not logged anything yet and you're taking part, <laughs> please log something. <laughs> I'm going to log mine now. I've literally just finished it. And then I need to get dressed and go out because otherwise we're gonna be here a long time. Hello, hello. I am ready to go out on Sunday. Um, me and my cousin are heading into Birmingham and then going to the Cody Pennington country show. So I have my like Morgan Wallen shirt on, love in life. Anyway, <laughs> that's not what you're here for. I didn't film anything yesterday. I just went with my parents into Stratford, um, did a bit of shopping, a bit of eating, went to Nando's. Um, just like a really wholesome little family day. So today is a day with my cousin. Um, I've sat around all morning because I wanted to finish Never Lie by Frieda McFadden. So I put on Discord for the patrons, I was like, here's my whole TBR, pick what book's next. And Lindsay very quickly put Never Lie. So I picked that up. I read about 100 pages yesterday and then I sat on the sofa this morning and read the following 200 pages. And I absolutely loved this book, five stars. I could probably fault it, very heavily like the whole thing was not that great and i know it wasn't that great but i had such a fantastic time that i don't even regret giving this five stars i think it is so easy um we're following trisha and ethan who are looking for a new home they're driving out to this house they want to see um and they're going to meet the estate agent there or the realtor whatever americans call them um but they get stuck in a blizzard so they end up being at this house with no one else there and they let themselves in and make themselves at home while they're kind of stuck there in the blizzard trisha starts noticing signs that there might be someone else living temporarily in this house um, and she also finds out that it is the house of a Dr Adrienne Hale who was a psychologist who went missing three years earlier. Um, I, I loved it. I loved it. Did I like it more than The Housemaid? Maybe. Maybe I did. In terms of other reading, I'm currently listening to the audio of One of Us Is Lying. I'm sure I've told you this countless times. I'm on page 242, so I'm about 67% of the way through, I think the audiobook says. Um, and I'm not absolutely loving this on reread, but I'm not hating it. And I think I remember who the murderer was. We'll see. I mainly just wanted to reread this so I could actually carry on with Karen M. McManus's books because I have so many of them. Um, but yeah, I did, uh, I have enjoyed what I've read so far. I'm just not crazy about it. Um, and I will probably finish that off tomorrow when I'm milling about. Um, I'm not gonna listen to it now because I'm heading out and we're gonna have our country playlist on, not my audiobook. So the next book I'm gonna read, I don't think I'm gonna get any time to physically read today. Um, so I think we should be getting back at like midnight. So I'm not going to stay up and read. Maybe I will. Um, my next book is going to be Triflers Need Not Apply by Camilla Bruce. Um, oh, I should say, I'm sorry. This was for Elena Gilbert, a book getting a lot of attention. And this is my Sheriff Forbes, a book with a mystery. So this one is my Alaric Saltzman, read a book with a historical element. And it is also the um, Clary Crime Scene Corner book this month. So I'm going to try and read as much as I can of this tomorrow and like storm through it. I don't know. I did want to do it as the book club so that I can read a little amount per day and not feel bad that I'm not completing it because it does sound like quite a difficult book for me personally because I don't read a lot of historical and I think it's quite written quite literarily fictiony. You know what I'm trying to say. So yeah, those are my book updates for now. Um, I need to get all the last little bits sorted and get in the car, go pick up my cousin and drive to Birmingham the joys. I will try and park more successfully this time. Hello. This is actually a really rubbish angle, isn't it? You've got sofa with blankets everywhere and my washing thing. It is now Monday. Um, I carried my camera around Birmingham yesterday and didn't film a single thing. Um, obviously I went to the concert and I got front row, which is crazy because we didn't get there until six, quarter to six maybe. No, maybe it was a bit earlier. Maybe about half five. Front row, love and life um cody pennington was really really good N not what i expected at all um and i did actually get a guitar pick from the support act who was jake jacobson um 
and I had never heard of him before, but he was very, very good and he looked very young. So I really feel like he could be someone cool. So I'm gonna be holding on to this. So yeah, I was shopping around all day and um, I was about to say the only thing I bought, I forgot about something crazy. I bought another um, of these Kenji air fresheners because they're really strong and I really like them. So this is a pig. Um, but I did buy something. I don't know how I'm how I'm forgetting I bought something. So we went into Michael Kors, kind of as a joke. Not as a joke. Like, I'm not trying to waste the people's time, but I just want to have a look at what they had. Um, and then as we were leaving, I can't get in. As we were leaving, I saw the jewellery cabinet. And I was like, I really don't need anything, but I really like this necklace. And then I couldn't stop thinking about it. So if anyone doesn't know, hasn't been around a while, I wear this necklace every single day. I've worn it every day for like two years. And it is a Michael Kors necklace from Cole's parents. And it's not that I don't like it. I just thought maybe, maybe I could have a change. So I, so I bought a change. These boxes are just so like over the top as well. I love them. But now I think jewellery change day is going to have to be on like fresh nail day or something. Because there's no way I can open these clasps by myself. Oh, it's so nice. So I actually got the rose gold one. I don't know how I'm going to show this to you guys. Professional vlogger here. There we go. That's picked it up. So this is like the pendant. Oh, it's so pretty. It's so pretty. And she gave me 15% off. So like I genuinely couldn't not. Um, but yeah, this one will have to be like interchanged with this one because they sit at exactly the same place on my throat. So I can't wear both at the same time, but it's just so like delicate and dainty and I love it. And um, yeah, so I'm now gonna be switching between the two necklaces because why not? But yeah, I really didn't need this. I 100% didn't need this, but as soon as I saw it, I couldn't stop thinking about it. So I splurged. This is my well done to me for getting the new job, but really, that's that's all we've got in this week's reading vlog because no more reading happened yesterday. Um, I did finish a book yesterday, but clearly that's while I was still vlogging. Um, so yeah, there's nothing more to tell you. It's now bank holiday Monday, so I'm gonna crack on with getting relaxed and reading. Saying that, I do have an order to pick up from the work, so I might run into town. I'm not sure. If you got to this point in the vlog, please leave me a pig emoji for my new pig air freshener because that's all I can think of to do right now. Pig for the pig. Isn't she, she's so cute. I love her, she's so cute. Thank you guys so much for watching this vlog. I really hope you enjoyed it and I will see you in my next one. Bye.